It's a mustache that's there, but I got other more important things to do. Hey, I'm Jeffrey Wright, and I play Jim Gordon in the upcoming movie, The Batman. And I'm gonna rate some of your favorite movie cop mustaches. Do you have a reservation for an Axel Foley? Well, let's see. All right, so you got Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop. And he's got, you know, he's got a little bit of that winged look. He's got, that's kind of an old school with the dip in front toward the nostrils flaring out. So you cut away, you know, on the side and you leave that little vertical, those two little vertical towers in the, in the center. I'll give that, I'll give that an eight. I'll give that an eight. Oh, I'm too old for this shit. That's Danny Glover, Lethal Weapon. Danny's, that's a, that's a, I, you know, that's a strong mustache. And he, he wears a mustache well. I mean, it kind of, there's like a, it flows, it's got a heft, but at the same time, you know, it conforms to the face in the, you know, in a, an organic, that's a fine mustache. For a cop mustache, I'm gonna give that a nine, even above, Eddie Murphy's eight. I'm gonna give that a nine. Yeah, that's a wild goose chase over here at Nakatomi Plaza. Everything here's okay. Now, Die Hard, okay. Reginald Val Johnson. That's a shadow mustache. So that's just the hint of a mustache, just framing the mouth. Very subtle, very subtle. Maybe a little too groomed, a little too manicured for a cop, you know, for a cop. I'm thinking he's, you know, he's spending more time, you know, just kind of servicing the edges of that thing than he might, you know, than he might want to. It's a fine mustache, but I'm in the relative scale, I'm gonna give it a four. Here, McLovin, have a cigarette. Smoke up. Is that a, is that a, like, extended? Hold on, let me see something here. Is that shadow or is that? Wow, that's a lot right there. It's not sure if it's a goatee. You know, it had ideas about maybe being a beard and then it just rocked back into, well, you know, something, something special. I'm gonna have to rate that a four just because it's indecisive. Where are you gonna be? Around. Morgan Freeman, seven. Um, subtle, it's a subtle mustache. It's a concerned mustache. It's a mustache that's there, but only because it should be, but I got other more important things to do. Good mustache, uh, I'll give that an eight. We're turn for the risks we took in recovering your loan. Allow me to buy you a drink. Oh, I don't even recognize this guy. Uh, because I haven't seen that face. I saw that face today. It's the first time I'd seen that face. Colin Farrell uh, here from Miami Vice because he was, of course, completely transformed for our film as the Penguin. That's a good mustache, you know? <clears throat> it's, uh, the hair is better than the mustache. I think the hair, the hair undermines the quality of the mustache in a way that's, that's unfortunate for the mustache. It's a, it's a good mustache, but I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. Simply because the hair, the hair undid it. Because it's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. That's Gary as, uh, as Gordon. That's a, I think he rocked that. He definitely rocked that mustache. Look at that thing. It's, uh, I thought for a second it looked like he had been like maybe eating some hot, drinking some hot chocolate or something, but that's his upper lip there. That's a fine, that's a fine mustache. That's a fine mustache for a, a fine Gordon, my man Gary Oldman. You can't argue with that. I'm gonna give that a 10, because how could you not? I mean, look at that thing. Look at that thing. 